This is the Baker water tank from Banter Model Works. In this kit you get laser cut wood, a strip of laser cut balsa for the main body of the tank, some card templates, some strip wood, some 0.2mm metal rod and a collection of plastic and metal castings. You also get some sheets of very comprehensive instructions. The first thing I do per the instructions is stain the strip wood with Vallejo light grey wash. Prior to this I run all the pieces through some very fine steel wool to get rid of any frayed ends. It's very important to read the instructions thoroughly on a kit like this, as many of the aspects of the construction are quite complicated. I use fine 600 grit sandpaper to sand away the laser markings from the wood pieces, as I want the foundation pieces to look like natural wood. This also gives an even layer of colour when applying the stain. I use Gorilla wood glue to connect the foundation timbers together. Here I stack the tank structure in accordance with the instructions and glue it together. Using a sponge and some water, I lightly dampen the balsa wood. And I wrap it around a spray can, holding it in place with elastic bands and allowing it to dry overnight. This makes the wood more pliable when it comes to gluing it to the main structure. Here I use Vallejo Oiled Earth Wash on the foundation timbers once they've dried. I use light grey wash on the tank support timbers. Here I use the template provided to line up the base timbers ready for gluing onto the support planks. Using this template for the legs I measure out the length and cut the strip wood to size, being sure to be a millimetre over on every piece so that I can tape them together and sand them all down to the same length. Here I use a nail file to do the sanding. Using a 0.04mm drill bit, I drill holes in the legs, ready for the tension rods to be inserted. Using the template, I line up the legs and glue the frost box siding in place. I then cut out some strip wood to size and add that as siding.
Here I'm just using some cheap red and brown acrylic paints to cover the frost box. I add in some black to dirty up the wood boards. And I add some green to the bottoms to simulate damp and discoloured wood. Then I glue the base parts together. With this template I line up the outer legs and add the interior laser cut wood bracing. Then I add the tension rods. With the provided spaces I line up the base of the planks and add a bottle of glue to weigh it down until it dries. Here I use super glue to attach the smaller angle braces. Inserting some of these support beams was incredibly tricky. With the balsa wood now dry, I remove the elastic bands. I apply a liberal amount of wood glue to the tank structure and wrap the outer wrapping around it. I then hold all of this in place again with plenty of elastic bands and give it several hours to dry. This final template is for the spout support. I glue the frame to the card with sticky tack glue and then remove the inside of the card before placing it on the vertical plank. Here I attach the metal pulley casting into the hole and glue it in place with super glue. I 
I also add a small piece of rod to act as an axle. I give the other metal castings a light grey wash. Then I attach the spout to the support. Here I use Vallejo Silver to paint the plastic cast bolts and chain pulleys. I cut them off the sprues and then fix them in place using super glue. With the tank now fully cured I'm ready to add the paper band straps. These came on sticky backed paper in the kit but when attempting to remove them the paper kept tearing and breaking. I think this kit has been in storage for quite a while which might explain why the sticky paper is now unusable. I fixed this by measuring the bands and then the circumference of the tank and then I created my own template in a word document. I printed it out on matte sticky backed paper and adhere them to the tank. Using the roof template I glue on planks of strip wood and leave it to dry. Using a mix of these Vallejo colours, I painted the water spout. I apply the same red as before to the entirety of the tank. Then I use Vallejo White Grey to dry brush over the wood. Here I use NATO Black to add water leak marks. And then finally use Intermediate Green and Dark Flesh combined with some black for some heavier water leaks. I weather up the whole thing and tie it together with some weathering powders. Now the roof is dry, I cut the planks to shape and sand it down using a nail file. I thread the string provided in the kit through the spout pulleys. And finally attach the metal chain handles to some string I painted black with some super glue.
This may be the trickiest kit I've ever put together. The instructions were very thorough but often required rereading multiple times to fully understand. I'm quite happy with the final look of the model but not entirely convinced and may come back to it in the future for some touch-ups. Here it is next to a previous HO kit build for some sense of scale. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much. <laughs>